Dan and I um, lived together maybe four years ago, and we were both uh, artists at the same time, but we never really worked on anything together, and then um, we both went our own ways, and um, I don't know, it probably took the same amount of time that we lived together to actually see each other again, and and I had an idea where maybe, we, you know, we could start working together to, uh, to show our talents together, but when working with an artist uh, to start a painting, I've found through history of doing it that it's better to have an actual concrete idea to start with. So I've made uh, one Guernica before this and it was successful. So I said to Dan, you know, maybe we should start with something as simple as Guernica. You know, it's only an 11 by 24 foot painting that everyone on the planet knows. Something really simple to, to start with. Just one of the most famous paintings ever. So let, let's tackle that. Let's do a huge uh, version of Guernica. That should be easy for us, right? So it, it tur turned out that I actually um, had a stretcher that was the same size proportionally to make Guernica. And we just, you know, got a bottle of wine one night and then just um, decided who would. I, I made the first marks. You know, we went through a whole process of, of saying, like, should we use a projection? Should we like make them all superheroes? We were gonna base it on Basquiat, Warhol. We were gonna make the bull a Basquiat, make the horse. Warhol yeah, I guess we did. We did talk about it a little bit beforehand, but there were no preliminary sketches or anything like that. We kind of just put the canvas up and went for it. And then we um, used Facebook as a medium to uh, start showing the processes of, of each degree of, of painting. It. It's, it started off really rudimentary, you know, it's like um, we had the light bulb. We, we, I guess we decided that we wanted the basic elements. Of we kind of roughed it out in one night or so. We wanted to stick with the basic elements of Guernica. So we have the bull, we got the light, we got the horse, we've got the person holding the candle or whatever. And then from then on we just started working it out and we had one section that was perfect and we decided that we needed the whole painting to look as pristine as that one little piece and that was the most difficult part yeah. was to make sure that everything was as clean as that piece then we kind of came up with with using red as a, uh, a way for the viewer's eye to kind of flow through it because it's got the the infinity it's kind of if you look at it it's like the viewer's eye is like the the affinity symbol is that correct yes that is correct i must say <laughs> having never really collaborated we know each other really well but we've never collaborated on anything like that before so it was maybe in retrospect it was a bit daunting to take on such a such a huge piece you know and such a well-known piece with all these different aspects you know all these different figures working there are eight different characters in the in the piece and we didn't really know exactly what we were going to do or how we were going to do it but it just kind of came together but like Lyle says we kind of we seem to have found one section of the painting that we really nailed and then it was just a matter of making the rest of the painting fit with that and we did we went back and forth we started working on it together in the same space we worked on it at the same time then we took turns one at a time then we traded it back and forth you know I had it for a night he had it for a night and really just the last few days is when the whole thing kind of coagulated it all it all came together for us and it's it's like the home stretch when you finally see that finish line and realize like holy crap it is working it's actually going to be something there was sleepless nights uh, one, one night I, I weighted over a bunch of Dan stuff and I felt really horrible for it but I just thought that it it wasn't weighted properly on one side and then I tried to tell him on Facebook that I did something to it and he showed up and he was cool about it and we just worked with it. I pretended to be cool with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was actually very mad. It was no, it was it was fun. You just you got to keep it all in mind and just have fun the whole time. No matter what is, it's always got to be pleasurable. It's got to be enjoyable for the artist, for myself, and you know. And it, 
it's difficult with art, uh, two art two different styles to actually work together on something, you know, to actually still make it look like it blends, but we both have our strengths and our weaknesses to some extent with it. So to some extent, I became an art director and said, well, I think there needs to be a rabbit there because I believe that Dan was... I still remember the time I, I said, Dan, there needs to be a rabbit there, and he's like, how do I draw a rabbit? I don't know. And then he started sketching out these rabbits, and I said, maybe the ears should go this way and that way. And so, uh, yeah. I think even though we did, we haven't drawn on every single centimeter together on this thing, we still have worked on almost every single detail was, was talked about. And I think... It, and we even actually had to reframe the whole thing. It started to warp and bend. It was so good that it began to warp. We worked it so hard that the frame was giving up. The stretchers underneath the canvas were giving up, just saying, I, I don't know, they just began to melt. So we had to take it apart and re-stretch it to, to make it rectangular again. It started to turn into a, more of a sphere. <laughs> and then I added uh, Luke Skywalker to it by accident. <laughs> And um, you, can, you can see where we deviated from the original uh, composition. The, I don't remember there being a lobster or a rabbit in the original Guernica. Or for that matter, there being any color in the original Guernica. So we, took, we did take some liberties, the cell phone and whatnot. We tried to put some parts of, uh, of today's... What? Lobster rabbit culture. Actually, the lobster is, a Pica is from a Picasso painting. That's, yeah, yeah. And then actually we painted the baby as Picasso. We put the striped shirt on. Yes, yes. And um, we wanted a bit of femininity on the right hand side so it's not so weighted down. Ah, I think it turned out pretty good. It's, it's our first thing we've done. So. Mm -hmm. And here's to many more. I'm drinking from an empty glass. Yeah, me too. This is for 